Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanathic.com and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of HTC Desire 10 Pro smartphone and we will be playing few of the most high-end games like uh, Spotted Airborne, FIFA 16 and few other games to see that how good this device is going to perform while we are playing few of the most heavy and high graphics game. So let me tell you that HTC Desire 10 Pro comes with 4GB of RAM Mali 860 GPU Android 6.0 Marshmallow OS and Helio P10 processor. So let's play these games and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute. So here we go. So first of all, let's play as Fault at Airborne. So the volume is full from here and the volume is full from the game settings as well and the graphics quality is selected as high. So let's just start playing the game. So the sound quality is quite good, it's loud and clear. And the amount of bass is good as well. So you can see that the graphics quality is really nice. And there is no frame drop of lagging of any kind while playing a sport at born here. And the sound is good as well. It's not so loud, but the sound quality and the audio output is good. So now let's play some other game and let's see that how good the Desire Pro is going to perform. So now let's play a Spider-Man. It's a 3D graphics game. So it will give us idea that how good is the 3D graphics quality of Desire and Pro. So you can see that it's looking pretty nice here. Hey, is there room at this dance for me? So you can see that gameplay was really very smooth and let's have a look on the 3D capability of Desire 10 Pro. You can see that when I'm changing the camera angle here, 
the response of the phone and game is so nice and smooth see how fast the camera angle I is changing in any direction and camera. if you have a look on spider-man's costume you can see how shiny and nice it's looking so the graphics quality is really very nice and realistic while playing a 3d game like the amazing spider-man you can see how nicely the details are coming out from the gloves to the costume to the background and everything so you can see that HTC Desire Pro is performing really very nice and let's go back and play spot it once again and I'm trying to show you here is the multitasking capability of this device that I was playing a high-end game like a sport it airborne I left it in the middle I didn't close it properly and then I started playing uh, the amazing spider-man that's also a very heavy graphics game with lots of uh, 3d rendering and uh, I didn't close that game properly as well and then I came back to a sport it airborne and the game is exactly where I have left it as you can see I'm having the resume option it was not force closed uh, because uh, of the load RAM or memory so the 4 GB RAM is performing really very nice as you can see so if you are a gamer who likes to do multitasking like uh, playing game doing some social media stuff side by side then you can enjoy playing games on the VAT and Pro because it's performing really very nice when it comes to multitasking as you can see by yourself here I wait the game So now let's go and play Nova 3. It is also a very heavy graphics game and it's having lots of 3D graphics as well. So you can see that the audio is not so loud but the audio output is so nice thanks to the boom sound capability. So if you are using the headphone, you will really enjoy playing games on HTC Desire 10 Pro. So here we go with the game. So you can see that here also the 3D graphics is so nice, so smooth. here I am dead but you could see that the graphics quality was so nice but let's play the game once again You can see how smooth is the 3D graphics quality here. I am just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of HTC Desire 10 Pro here.
I'm not a good gamer, all I'm trying to do is just play some games. So if you are a good gamer, you should be enjoying playing games on HTC Desat and Pro. So let's go back and let's play Temple Run 2. And it is also a very popular game and uh, this game requires good uh, response from the touch screen and the sensor. So let's play the game and let's see that how nicely the Zatan Pro is going to perform in this game. So you can see it's quite smooth. So the responsiveness of touch screen is nice and also the sensors as you can see here all of them are working so nicely. So if you like this kind of game like Temple Run 2 or uh, Subway Surfers then it will be a nice gaming experience or desire bro I just jumped out of the cliff. So you can see but still that the performance was so nice of Desire Pro while playing Temple Run 2 and now let's play the last game for today and that's going to be FIFA 16. And uh, I'm really very bad in this game. Actually I do not play it all but uh, just trying to give you an idea that if you play FIFA 16 and also how nice it will be. <laughs> so you can see that I'm just trying to uh, play this game and show you what's happening but it's looking quite smooth and nice there is no lagging or any frame drop you can see even in replay it's quite nice everything is so smooth the graphics quality the shadows and everything is real time and very nice and smooth here. <laughs> 